Hi there. In this video, we will learn about CSS property column spine. So, the column span CSS property makes it possible for an element to span across all columns when its value is set to all. So, uh, sometimes you need to set content based on how many columns you are using. So, in that case, you can use this column span span CSS property. So an element that spans more than one column is called a spanning element. Okay. So this column span property is specified by one of the values that is none and all. So when you use none, the element does not span multiple columns. And when you use all, the element spans across all columns content in the normal flow that appears before the column before the element is automatically balanced across all columns before the element appears. So the element established a new block formatting context. So we will see actual example how this property works. Okay. So in HTML, let's say we have one article. So when you create blogs or in almost all the html article is very common okay so in article let's say we have one heading heading tag okay h2 and this is header spanning spanning all of the columns that you should see so this is h2 and let's see how it looks so right now there is no css so let's create some css article okay and we will create some css into this article so we can simply add and some value okay so we will set value in some time okay. so after h2 we will have one paragraph okay and in paragraph we will have some content so let me remove this content so this is our paragraph okay and let's copy this paragraph more than three times so right now we have four paragraphs okay and this is how paragraph looks right now so in article columns we can set number of columns to three okay so let's see how it looks it should not be class article it should be article tag now you can see we have three columns across these paragraphs okay so let me add some numbers number one number two number three and number four so we can see where this paragraph starts so you can see here number one number two three and four okay so right now we haven't added any column span property so how this actually works so before that what we can do we can simply add this h2 tag h2 selector and give column span property and give value all okay so default value is none and another value is all so when you give all value you can see the difference so now you can see um, let me add some h2 tag with font weight let's keep it bold so you can see this h2 tag in a proper way so now you can see this is h2 okay so here you can notice that the h2 tag covers this complete area and the paragraph starts after that h2 tag get finished so basically what actually happens when you apply column spine value to all 
the default value is none. So when you are not applying any value, that column span is not there. In that case, what happens? The H2 tag is considered as one of these paragraphs. So it, it is fitting or you can say it is similar to paragraph and it will fit in the column layout only. So when column span value is none, it this H2 tag will work as a paragraph, as a column. So when you change the size of this column, it won't change anything. This S2 will fit within this column only. Okay. So sometimes what happens when you want to uh, show this H2 tag as a separate entity because ultimately this H2 is not part of these columns, right? So you want to show this H2 tag as a separate entity. In that case, you can use this column span property and give the value, apply that value all. Okay. So let me refresh. And once we refresh, you can see now the H2 tag is using this space, this complete space, right? This complete space and the column starts after this H2 tag finishes. So this is paragraph and paragraph has this column layout. So if you change the column value to four, it will still work in the same way. Okay, so you can see now paragraph one, two, three and four and this H2 tag is still out of this column layout. And if you pass this value, if you change this value to none, that is default value, then this H2 tag will fit in this first column. Okay, so this is not something which is ideal in all the cases so that's why the column span property is there that you can use okay and let's talk about browser support it supports all the browsers like chrome edge firefox opera safari and for both mobile and desktop browsers okay so when you are using column layout make sure when you have multiple elements that you want to fit into column layout make sure that this column span properties properly uh, set okay so that's all for this video guys if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than 200 videos uploaded and let me show you the playlist so you can see the few uh, a few playlists are there similarly this column span css property there are around 48 49 videos are there and you can learn css property with basic examples as i just explained in this video okay so apart from the css there are videos on javascript tutorial as well so if you are learning javascript and you have just started learning web then it is very good to start with javascript so in this video you will see you will learn the basic javascript concepts and exercises so please visit my channel and feel free to comment or suggest suggestion and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you are new please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any updates all right thanks for your time see you next time around bye